G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph Mayhew here and today I want to talk to you about the best vlogging settings for your Nikon ZFC. That's right, it's a perfect camera to vlog with. I vlog with it all the time and I've had an array of challenges that's culminated in this video that I hope will help you. Now the, what makes this camera such a great asset is its flip about screen. The screen completely turn around that enables you to see what you look like and see how you're framed in the context of everything else. It's a DX camera which means it's crop sensor and comes with a kit lens that's 15 to 50 which is the equivalent of about 24 to 70 on a full frame camera but the kit lens is good enough for what you need. You don't need some massive compressed aperture setting. The 3.5 to 5 range it gives you is heaps when you're vlogging. You can still get a, a, a blurred background as I am really clear and in focus but there's a few things you need to keep Keep in mind as you venture into this activity. So we're shooting on 4K. I always shoot on 4K, which gives you the ability to crop later on and gives you a better quality in the finish. So you shoot on 4K at 24 frames a second. That's 3,840 pixels by 2,160 pixels at 24p. If you're shooting on 24 frames a second, the 180 rule says you must shoot on twice the frame rate on your shutter speed. So my shutter speed is 50. I then set the aperture to what sort of effect I want. So if I want the background completely in focus, I'll bump the aperture up to 12 or 16. If I want the background blurry and myself to pop out of it, I'll set it much, much lower. In fact, as low as I can possibly go. Then I alter the ISO to adapt for the amount of light. Today we're shooting on 100 ISO because there's tons of light. Sometimes when there's not tons of light, you need to increase your ISO. And at times you will need to add an artificial light to your subject or to yourself, put a light on top of the camera so that you are a illuminated so you can lower your ISO and not lose any quality by doing that. Now the next one is a gem as you've been looking through the screen you're seeing what I normally see and you'll see there's a horizon leveling you'll see there's all that data on there from aperture and shutter speed and ISO plus you can actually use and activate the camera by moving my hand toward the camera and pressing the dials and changing the screen that enables this to change for me to get exactly what I want by looking at what I'm getting. Now to get that you need to go to menu, setup, self-portrait, and then select that off. And that gives you full functionality both in the screen and in operation from the front of the camera that otherwise you will not have because it's default set to on. Sorry to interrupt, but just one second, the beard is coming off. Yes, by this date. And if you'd like to contribute to the research against leukemia or to support those with leukemia, I would love for you to partner with me. I know it's a bit of an icon on the channel. I thought, why not use the icon, use the opportunity to do some amazing good in this world. If you'd like to be part of that good, the link is in the description below. And I really thank you for it. And you'll get to see the whole experience. Yep, we'll film the whole lot and now we'll bring it to you. <laughs> Thanks heaps. Let's get back to it. Next, you'll see via the screen that there is an eye finder and a face detect on. I find that absolutely essential when vlogging. It just picks up your face and focuses on it. It's really, really important. And to activate that, you just head to menu, video recording, AF area mode, and select it to auto area AF and people in brackets. And that will enable it to do what you've been watching it do to my face as we've been doing it. Now the third step is what I have found to be an absolute game changer. I mucked up a setting I think in my camera and for weeks on end I had blurry footage and it would always focus on the background. Oh my gosh it was a stress and it wouldn't be till I got home and I opened up the computer and I put it on. I'm like this footage is unusable, I've got to shoot it again so I'd waste hours and hours of shooting. And it's this setting that saved my neck. The setting is AF-F, it's auto full time focus mode. You go to it by selecting menu, video recording, focus mode, and then AF-F. And what that means is your subject, when it comes onto frame, will be drawn into focus. Now it takes a little bit of time, and we'll get to that in just a sec, but it's essential when vlogging. And if you don't have it on your camera, makes up your mind what it's going to shoot, and often it's not your face as beautiful as your face might be and as gorgeous as your beard appears. The final thing you need to do when vlogging is set your speed of focus rates to the fastest that it will go. So you can actually move out of frame 
and it focuses on the background. And then when you move into frame, instead of it taking half an hour to focus on your face, it does it quite swiftly. And you do that by going to the menu, going to custom setting menu, select A, autofocus. Once you're there, choose A3, which is focus tracking with lock on, and then select one. This video and this channel are the videos I wish I had watched and seen as I was learning this craft. So that's why I've made it and I haven't been able to find another video that captures this for the Nikon ZFC. If you have, put it in the comments below and let's share the love with other creators. But I hope it's been helpful to you and I hope you feel empowered now to head out into our wonderful, glorious world and do some epic vlogging. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel as we try to bump towards 5,000. It's kind of my next goal, 5,000 subscribers. So join me in heading there. It's going to be a blast. And if you have any other epic ideas for videos or learning that you want to take place, comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.